Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the very, very, very exciting Christmas episode preview at BFI South Bank. Uh, I know many of you people know about it and quite a lot of you actually managed to go as well. And if you were there, you know how much of an amazing experience it was. And yeah, I just wanted to do a review a review of it, obviously spoiler free because I don't want to spoil anything of the Christmas episode uh, because yeah, that's just not fair. <laughs> and yeah, I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. And yeah, so it's just going to be discussing the experience of it and yeah, just how fun it was. And just a reminder to everybody who is at the BFI event and saw the Christmas special, uh, please avoid all spoilers in the comments and on Twitter and on Instagram and anywhere because we don't want it to be spoiled for anybody. So yeah, you can comment down below if you enjoyed the Christmas episode, but do not reveal any information about it at all, please. So I managed to get to go to the BFI because I bought a membership, which I know a lot of people did. So the way the BFI works is members get like two days before the ticket goes on sale to the public to buy tickets. And I could, I wasn't initially gonna buy membership, I was gonna wait for like general admission, but I could see so many people online buying them that I just thought, screw it, I'll get the membership. I am interested in the BFI anyway, so it would be a good excuse to get it. And I'm so glad I did because when I booked it, the like entire like middle section of the cinema was like completely booked up. So I managed to sit, well not completely, I managed to sit at the top row of the middle section, like right in the middle. So I had such a good view of the, the screen and of the guests when they were talking. So yeah, I was very happy with my seats. I think everybody got a pretty good seat. There didn't seem to be anywhere in the cinema that you didn't get a good view. So I thought that was really, really great. One thing I will say is there was quite a lot of empty seats, which I was quite disappointed in. Um, I don't know what the reasons are for those empty seats, but if it was because people couldn't turn up like on the day, I do wish that they had returned their tickets so that other fans could be able to go as well. Um, obviously I don't know the circumstances behind everything, but it was quite disappointing to see there was empty seats and you know the fact that they could have been filled by fans of the show. So I got to the BFI at around five o'clock and the show started at six and somehow <laughs> by the grace of God uh, Jim and Martha just happened to be walking through uh, the entrance as I was sitting like literally like a few meters away from the entrance and quite a few people saw them and I, I heard people like like lots of chatter and people rushing over and I looked over and I could, they were there. <laughs> so I managed to go. Um, I was very nervous. I didn't know whether to go over and stuff. But I did end up going over and I managed to get a Polaroid with uh, Jim. I don't know if you can see that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get a picture or a signature with Martha because by the time I had like waited to, to get to speak to Jim, Martha had so many people around her and obviously they needed to get into the event hall and everything. So unfortunately, I didn't get to talk to Martha or anything, but um, she was very friendly and she was just like smiling and waving to everybody as you know she went through and yeah so that was <laughs> fantastic and as I kind of hung around to see if anybody else like would go in through that way but I think because of how many people like ran over to see them they ended up going through a different entrance uh, but I did manage to bump into Kiel uh, as he was going into the entrance like just by pure chance I'd literally just come out of the toilets and he was like there <laughs> Um, and I managed to get a signature uh, of the like the BFI like uh, book. I'll just put it there. So I managed to get his signature, which is really cool. A very nice man lended me his pen because I couldn't find mine in my bag. And so yeah, he was very nice as well. It was just fantastic getting to meet everybody like before the show. I didn't like even like think that would happen. Uh, and so many uh, fans like brought their fan art in, which I thought was such a good idea, and I like, got them to sign it. There's people dressed up with like horrible histories, ghosts themes, themed like jumpers and t-shirts, and there was somebody dressed up as Mary, which was such a good costume. And she also had like a paper mache head, like Humphrey's head, and you know she got pointed out by the guy doing the questions, and they all said it was wonderful. So that must have been such a fantastic experience for her. Uh, yeah, so that was just incredible. So uh, the way it worked is we were shown a, a fan favourite episode and then we were shown the Christmas preview and then it was the Q&A. So we all got a chance to vote on what we wanted to see, what episode we wanted to see. 
I personally voted for the Woodworm Men episode because I thought seeing Pat's uh, like dip it scene would be hilarious to see on the big screen. And a second choice, I think Thomas Thorne Affair I'd seen people uh, recommend, uh, but it was actually Reading Weddy that was chosen, which as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, of course, <laughs> Haver's on the captain. Of course, people want to see that on the big screen. And it was so, so good. And what I didn't realise is that the cast that were there actually sat in the audience like while watching it uh which I thought was so like I didn't even think they would do that um and I got really excited because there was an empty seat next to me and I was like oh my god what if they sit next to me uh obviously they didn't <laughs> but uh, that would have been so awesome and I'm so glad for the people that they did manage to sit by that's just such a great experience for them and also I always I thought it was really funny because obviously in Reading Weddy Fanny is like getting attracted to Mike and like the hilarious scenes and I thought because both Kiel and Martha were in the audience I just thought that must be such an odd experience for them to be watching it <laughs> uh, I guess they're used to it but I just yeah I just thought that was really funny watching an episode like that I've seen on tv on my phone so many times on the big screen was so incredible it was such a, like a big community event you knew everybody in that cinema loved ghosts and loved this episode and everybody was laughing and cheering and it, oh it was just it was so good it was such a good experience so about the Christmas episode again I'm not going to go too much into it I'll read the description so you get an idea of what like it was about. So this is the description of the episode. If you still don't want to hear any of this and go into the episode completely blind, then I'll put a timestamp in so you can skip the discussion about the Christmas episode um, if you don't want to know absolutely anything about it. So the description is, in the run-up to the festive season, Kitty becomes convinced that Santa has made an early stop at Button House, where Mike and Alison discover a man living in a tent on their grounds. The ghost's advice on how to deal with him leaves much to be desired, but eventually Mike and Alison learn that they have more to offer to this Christmas than they realise. So this episode is very much about like embracing the Christmas spirit, being kind and you know not judging people and that I think is such a good theme to have on Christmas and it was again what I love about ghosts is that it, it was very funny as well but like touching on such a like emotional theme and yeah that was just fantastic all the way through I loved it and we also got so this is again this isn't spoilery because it's it was announced so we also had Jennifer Saunders playing Fanny's mother and we got to Yes, see a bit of Fanny's backstory, which I thought was really interesting, really, really well done, and added so much more to her character. And I thought it was, yeah, it was just, it was just fantastic. It, I, yeah, that's all I can really say. Like, you just have so much to look forward to. Um, if you haven't, if you didn't see it at the BFI event, yeah, you're in for such a treat. It, it was just fantastic. Like, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say about it because I don't want to, like, spoil anything even slightly for you guys. And also, Jennifer Saunders is incredible. It was just so good. And then, obviously, following that episode, we got a QA. and a And first of all, the, uh, the guy doing the Q&A, I thought he was really, really good. He was very good at asking questions that got them all involved, who got answers from all of them. And then I thought he was also very good at noticing when somebody wasn't speaking as much and then asking a question directly to them. Um, that happened with Kiel near the beginning because he was kind of sitting on the end and he didn't kind of like jump in as much. So he asked a very, very interesting question right to Kiel. And I thought that was really great. Again, everybody involved, making sure that everybody spoke like an equal amount, uh, which I really, really appreciated. I'm sure they did as well on stage. So actually, yeah, I didn't even say who's at the event. So it was announced before that we would have uh, Jim, Martha... Simon, Lolly and Kiel and then Matt surprised us and he was also there as well which he wasn't like supposed to be he was supposed to be busy but I guess they kind of I don't know something happened his time was available so he he came which was such a lovely surprise unfortunately Ben and Larry couldn't be there because they're, they're filming a new sitcom or working on a new sitcom so that is completely understandable it would have been lovely to have them there but I don't think we missed out on anything at all uh, everybody was really entertaining. You could really sense the natural chemistry between them all. And like even with like Lolly and Kiel, who obviously were aren't part of the original six, you could see it was just such an, a friendly environment and such like a close knit group of people, 
which is, yeah, it's just so lovely to see. I'm not going to go all into the Q&A because I'm pretty sure it will be released online because that's what they did last time. I really hope they do because, again, there were some really interesting questions. But they talked a lot about um, kind of like how they filmed series three without the COVID restrictions. And that was really, really interesting to me because that must have been so difficult. So the way it was done is they got put in, in cohorts. So like there'd be like a group of three of them that would go in and film on that day. They used a lot of like screens so that they weren't like close together. And yeah, it was just, I did, it thought it would have been so difficult. And you know, the final scene um, where they're all sitting around on the dining table, apparently that was filmed only two people at a time, which oh, I just, I just love these little behind the scenes, like sneak peeks we get into it. Cause like, yeah, it must be such a difficult show to film, especially when like, <laughs> you know, half the the characters aren't really supposed to be like visible to, to Mike. And yeah, and they also pointed out how difficult Mike's role is, uh, oh, sorry, Kiel's role as Mike is, because he has to pretend all these people aren't there, whereas everybody else can interact with each other. So I think that I'm, again, really glad we got an in, like an insight into how his experience filming is, because yeah, he definitely has like one of the most difficult roles. <laughs> Because, yeah, it would be so difficult to just not be able to react to anything they're saying. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And they also, they officially announced Series 4, even though I'm pretty sure that was announced before, but, like, officially, officially announced Series 4. And that they're writing it at the moment, or they're about to start filming, uh, which is, yeah, it's so good. And the Plague Ghosts will hopefully be back. So they've written them into the scripts, but... COVID depending, uh, they should be in there. Um, obviously, if we get a repeat of what happened, um, COVID restrictions won't allow them to be able to film the plague ghosts. So come on, fingers crossed, we want the plague ghosts back in. And I think the actors really want it and the writers really want it as well. Uh, so that's, yeah, just really cool. <laughs> I'm very excited for them to be back and like a series four. Love that it's confirmed like officially again. <laughs> But yeah, it's like like the worst kept secret. It's been there's been so many times when like actors have accidentally said about there being a series four, and yeah, but yeah, they officially announced it, which was fantastic. They also talked a lot about the writing process and also the difficulties of like getting in like the fanny double entendres because they don't want it to go like too be like too obvious or just be rude for the sake of being rude. And you know, talked about how like some of them had different opinions on what could be used and what couldn't because uh, there's one very very funny double entendre in the Christmas episode it's very very funny like everybody was like laughing the whole way through um which I'm so glad about it was a very very relaxed comforting environment being there because I was a bit stressed out being like surrounded by so many people but it felt very safe it felt just yes yeah, so comfortable and like so stress-free like obviously I was so like pumped up on excitement but yeah it was just so relaxing just so funny as well like I just had a smile on my face the entire way through and I know everybody else around me did as well uh, one thing I will say is that I don't know if anybody else thought this as well but wasn't like the cinema just so warm like all the time it was just so hot in there but yeah it didn't take away from the enjoyment at all um I'm trying to think what else to say like there was just so much stuff that was just so brilliant oh yeah there was like a Q&A at the end like for the guests and I was like a little bit annoyed not anything but like the two questions I'd have been like practicing rehearsing in my head you know if I got a chance to ask it were both kind of answered in the like the general Q and A, so I just panicked and I couldn't think of a question to ask, and I just had so many like thought. I had like a thousand thoughts running through my head uh, when they were asking people to like put their hands up if they wanted to ask a question. So I chickened out and I didn't put my hand up, which I'm in hindsight I'm really gutted about because now I have loads of more questions. But uh, yeah, all the questions that were asked were fantastic. So it, <laughs> yeah, it was nothing like that. I was just annoyed at myself because <laughs> um, yeah, the questions I wanted to ask was like whether or not they had to like change like the ghost's backstory because people have figured it out and apparently they haven't had to really change anything but somebody did figure out one of them uh so I thought that was really interesting and I also wanted to ask about the American version and again they touched on that as well um and they are very involved in it in the fact that they get kind of looks at scripts they get they talk to them about the creating the ghosts and they still kind of get like general episode info in as well I think something like that um so yeah I thought that was really cool um <laughs> I think I would have been oh, I would have been so nervous if I actually went up and 
asked the question, but everyone else was so good at asking the questions. Like they all said, like, oh, I'm such a big fan. Like, thank you for bringing us so much joy, which I thought was just such a nice touch. And yeah, a lot of the questions were about like the costumes and, you know, all sorts of that. And there was also like, (laughs) they went on a tangent for a while about, you know, they found a bag that had like the remains of like Walter Raleigh's head in or something. Uh, They went on a (laughs) massive tangent about that for a bit, (laughs) which is very entertaining. And yeah, it was just such a fantastic experience all around. Unfortunately, Lolly and Kiel had to leave a little bit early because, I don't know, this had to be somewhere. But it was literally like in the last round of like audience Q&A. So it wasn't like, they didn't miss loads. Uh, Which is such a shame because I didn't get managed to see Lolly as she went in. And I was really hoping I'd be able to catch her on the way out. Just to be like, I love you (laughs) on Ghosts and on Taskmaster. Uh, But unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her, which is a shame. She's the only one that I didn't like see like close up which sounds that sounds really weird but you know what I mean uh because after the end so when we were like waiting at the beginning because obviously I wanted to say hi to Martha and then the BFI lady who was in like charge of everything she was like oh there'll be chances to speak to the, the like cast afterwards by the time I came down the stairs there was already like so many people down there um and they kind of like formed queues Uh, because you know we're British we've got to have (laughs) cues but like I did really appreciate that because like as fans everybody was very polite and respectful and obviously everyone was excited so they're wanting to get close but they also respected everybody else around them they didn't push in they didn't barge their way through and like demand anything from anybody so everybody was just yeah really respectful and I thought that was great everybody was really really good which I really appreciated but unluckily by the time I'd got out, because obviously I was in the middle, I had to wait for like people to come out. I was quite far behind in the queue. So I at that point, I only managed to get, I got Simon the signature, which is cool. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, and I, and Matt again, like, so he was at the front and he was giving signatures and taking pictures. But by the time he got close to me, like, that he had to kind of leave and he was so apologetic to everybody and I was just like no it's fine like go <laughs> you have to leave like it's fine um but he was saying hi and like thank you and like you know apologizing for having to leave without getting to speak to everybody and I thought that was really nice and same happened to Martha Martha had to kind of like come away a bit earlier as well and again it's like they were all very good at even if they didn't manage to get a picture or a signature with everybody they were at least like saying hi and they weren't just like you know, barging, like, trying to escape everybody, which, it like, it would have been fine if they were trying to do that because it was a lot of people. Um, Again, everybody wore masks as well, so there was, like, a good amount of respect between, like, the cast and the fans, you know, not wanting to kind of upset anybody, not wanting to, you know, break down, like, boundaries and, and anything like that. So I thought that was great. And also, one thing I noticed was, like, just how kind of excited like the cast were as well to be meeting people that like, there was times they did compliment them in that on their their artwork and what like if they were were wearing like a ghost or hobble histories yonderland themed um outfit and one time he was like he uh, i think it was jim i think he, this girl met like martha or or somebody beforehand and she has like a tattoo to do with ghost i didn't see the tattoo but as soon as jim came over, she was like oh you're the one with the tat as soon as jim like saw her she was like oh you're the one with the tattoo I was heard I heard about that and I thought that was such a nice detail to like remember the fact that somebody had had a tattoo of ghosts and managed to kind of like get enough from the other cast member to know what she looked like I thought that was just so lovely yeah they were just so like appreciative of the fans and the fans were so respectful of them and so like just happy to be there and yeah I just thought that was wonderful I didn't there wasn't any point where I thought fans were going too far because like they didn't get like hounded or anything it was very much like we were in lines they were coming through as fast as they could and getting pictures and signatures with many people they could in the time that they had to be there but again like I'm just so happy to just be even in the same room as them (laughs) if they do another one I would strongly recommend try and get tickets hopefully they will learn from (laughs) from this and like set aside a set amount of tickets for general admission so people don't have to buy memberships but I can't wait for everyone to see the Christmas episode and you know if if they do release the Q&A which will probably be after the Christmas episode film because they did talk about the episode there yeah I thought just yeah every part of it was just so good and 
yeah, uh, just one of the best days ever, honestly. Like, it was just so, so good. And also, what I loved was, like, kind of, like, the diversity of the people there. Like, obviously, there was a lot of, like, girls my age and, like, younger, uh, which I wasn't really surprised at. But there was, like, families. There was, like, older men by themselves, older women by themselves. So it was, it just really shows how ghosts is a show for everybody and i love that so i hope everybody who did go enjoyed it as much as i did i <laughs> i can't imagine that you didn't and just a massive thank you to the bfi for hosting it and allowing this amazing thing to happen and and a massive thank you for J- to jim and martha and lolly and kiel and simon and matt for being so kind to fans and for just being at the event and just being so entertaining in general and yeah just being just such wonderful people because there is obviously that fear everyone says don't meet your idols because they'll disappoint you but that was just the complete opposite for me there they were so nice the entire time um and obviously like there was obviously some fans who were getting very very flustered and very like (laughs) nervous and they were just so kind and nice to them um which yeah meet them if you can (laughs) they 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 live up to all they lived up to all of my expectations and more they were just so just so nice (laughs) and just such lovely people and they deserve all the world yeah just thank you to all of them yeah I just loved it loved every second yeah thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a like and yeah comment down below if you went and what you thought of what you thought of it uh if you enjoyed it as much as much as i did and yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos to do with ghosts i will hopefully i will definitely do a review of the christmas episode when it airs officially so yeah look forward to that and yeah uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye